The OECD outlook is yet another blow to the bullish estimates of governments. Uh, the reality shows that uh, economic growth globally is slowing down severely and that inflation is persistent. The narrative of inflation coming down and certainly of transitory inflation is gone. And the reality is that those that believed in the inexistent Keynesian multiplier should be very worried because the reality is that if the Keynesian multiplier actually existed and if we had seen the government spending work as a mm, uh, way of improving the economy, today most of the developed economies would not be seeing uh, levels of growth that are close to stagnation nation yet in fact close to stagflation but what what we would be seeing is very robust levels of growth considering the enormity of the increase in money supply and the increase in government spending of 2020-2021 and the recovery of demand coming from the reopening of economies, the boost in growth should have been so phenomenal that many of the developed economies should have been growing at almost double-digit rates. However, the reality is that we're going closer and closer into stagflation and that that risk has not been reduced by just rate hikes. Central banks need to tighten further, interest rates need to go up, balance sheets need to come down, which is yet to happen, but more importantly, government spending needs to be reduced. The reality of uh, the current risk should not lead to a global impoverishment of the population through inflation and uh, stagnation.